well, it's a good thing it was a slow week for movies, because I probably would have never saw this movie in theaters, but, hey, I had to see something. Hey everyone, welcome to another review, and here's my review for the movie All Saints. Yes, All Saints stars John Corbin, Cara Buno, Barry Corbin, and Nelson Lee, and this movie is directed by Steve Gomer, and this, yeah, this is a new religious sort of movie, well, sort of movie, this is a straight religious movie, and yes, I, as you all know on this channel, I don't review a lot of religious movies, because honestly, I myself, I'm not a religious person, yes, I have a lot of family members who are really very religious and very Catholic and stuff, but I'm pretty much, my religious belief is I'm an agnostic, so yeah, I respect a lot of people's religions, but I don't really have a religion. For me, myself, I really don't have a religion and stuff, but yeah, when it comes to religious movies, though, like, I'm just not a big fan of religious movies. Yes, I love the classic epics like Ten Commandments and Ben-Hur, but a lot of the religious movies they make are very, like, dramatic Hallmark movies, and I'm just not a big fan of them. I've seen a few of them, like God's Not Dead, God's Not Dead 2, War Room, Christian Mingle, Miracles from Heaven, and I'm just not a fan of those movies, especially God's Not Dead and God's Not Dead 2. Those are fucking atrocious films, but yeah. I'm just, I, these movies, just they don't intrigue me, they don't interest me, so I had zero interest to see this film. There was an, actually another religious movie that came out this year that actually got pretty decent reviews. It was called The Case for Christ, but I never had any interest to see that movie, so I never saw it. People say it's good, but you know what, I probably won't watch it, but everyone, a lot of people did tell me to go see this movie, All Saints, and it was playing in the theaters near me, so I'm like, you know what, since it's a slow week for movies, I might as well check it out and see how good or awful this movie is, and yeah. The story of this movie is about a pastor slash salesman, and he runs this very tiny church, and he takes all these uh, refugees from Southeast Asia, and they all start, like, planting crops around his land and all the land and stuff. And they're basically there to help their community and stuff and help them, you know, explore more religious uh, ideals and stuff. And, yeah, it's a very, like, deep and dramatic story about community and friendship and family and, of course, religion. This movie seemed interesting, but, I don't know, I was a little afraid because... I felt like, I, I thought this was going to be like a Christian Mingle or God's Not Dead. It was going to be a very hokey, very sappy, preachy kind of movie. Very manipulative, but as it turns out, it was it was a few of those things, but it actually wasn't half bad. As a movie as a whole, it actually was fine. It was decently directed. John Corbin, yes, the guy from um, My Big Fat Greek Wedding, he plays the lead, and he is actually really good in this movie. Very good, very likable character. You understand his religious beliefs and stuff, and he respects other people's beliefs. And he's a very he's a very caring character, a very respectable character. And the way he takes in these refugees and helps his uh, helps his people, and how he loves his community, it's a very likable person and a person that a lot of people can relate to and respect and enjoy watching. And John Corbett gives a very good performance, and he gives the character a lot of justice. And I thought he was a very good choice to play the lead character in this movie. He was really good. The whole supporting cast was all fine, but, but yeah, he was basically the main star, and he was the best in this movie, and he gave the best performance. And again, this movie was directed by Steve Gomer, a director that I'm not at all familiar with. He did a okay job. The screenplay for this movie is at times a bit generic and at times a bit predictable, and it does have a lot of sappiness and overly preachy stuff in it, overly preachy themes in the film, but it's a religious film, but there is still good character arcs, and there's some good intriguing dialogue, there's interesting topics they talk about, there's interesting discussions in this film about belief structure and religion and about people and community and stuff, and it's well done. The writing isn't brilliant, but there is some really good writing in this film with some good dialogue and some good character arcs. So all in all, the movie is well made. Like, it is a decently shot, decently edited, decently directed, decently written, decently acted film. And that's what it is. It's just decent. It's nothing amazing. It's nothing fantastic. There's no Oscar-dominated acting here. This is not like Oscar-worthy, Oscar-caliber performances in this film. Nothing like that. And again, the movie is very preachy. The movie's predictable as shit. You know exactly where this movie's going from the moment it begins. It's very predictable. There are moments in this movie that I was rolling my eyes and like, okay, okay. It was like, it was just that kind of like preachy kind of stuff that just, you know, 
it's just not for me, but all in all, the film is still very good. I think a lot of people who are very religious can like this film, but even if you're not very religious, I still think you can enjoy, have some enjoyment in this film, because there is a lot of good characters, there is some good rating, and the story is all, all in all pretty interesting, and at times very heartwarming, and yeah, I did enjoy myself watching this film. I would never probably ever watch it again stuff, it's definitely not a movie, it's not like a go-to movie for me. But for a, real, for a religious film and for a good dramatic film, it is done. It, it is done well. Like it's again, this is not my kind of thing. This is not my kind of genre. I'm not a big uh, fan of these religious type movies about religion and stuff, and movies that are overly sappy and preachy and overly sentimental. The movie uses those themes, but it's very toned down, and the movie isn't at all manipulative, like God's Not Dead stuff. So that was a big plus in my books. And yeah, again, the performances are still good, and the story and the characters are still good, so that, yeah, that alone makes the movie very watchable and stuff. Again, it's not for everybody. It's definitely not a movie you have to go see, but since the movie, but yeah, since this week is very dead when it comes to movies, if you just want to go see a good dramatic film with a good story, I could definitely recommend this movie. It's not perfect, but it is actually a pretty good movie, and for, for a religious movie, I actually quite enjoyed it. So yeah, I would definitely recommend this movie. Not amazing, but it was still pretty darn good. And yeah, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give the movie All Saints a 7.5 out of 10. So yeah, for a religious movie, it was very good. Like, way better than a lot of crappy ones I've seen. And yeah, go check it out if you want. So yeah, that was my review for the movie All Saints. So in the comment section below, please tell me what is your favorite and least favorite religious movie? Yes, a movie that has some sort of religious story and stuff. Yeah, what is your least favorite and your favorite? My favorite against the classics like the Ten Commandments and Ben-Hur. Ben-Hur's the best. The worst is God's Not Dead. God's Not Dead. I haven't seen all of them again because I don't want to torture myself. I haven't seen like The Identical or anything like that, but God's Not Dead was a horrible, horrendous, shittily acted, that's not a word, but still, horribly, poorly acted film with a horrible message and a very man manipulative film, and I absolutely fucking hate that movie. Thank God All Saints is nothing like God's Not Dead, but God's Not Dead is probably the worst religious movie I've ever seen. But yeah, what is your favorite? What is your least favorite? Comment below. below. Let me know. And as always, for this video, please like, subscribe to this channel, and join the dark side.